Welcome to this simple tutorial about root spider. Let's take this uh, simple equation x squared plus 3x minus 10 equal to 0. The root finding here what value of x to give me 0, y0? Zero? This is it's very simple to solve because. Uh, this is can solve analytically. Like example here, we can factor this equation, and then we will find x equal to negative five or x equal to two. If it is x equal to negative five, this example here will be twenty-five plus three times negative five, which is negative fifteen, minus ten will be twenty-five minus twenty-five equal to zero. Uh, uh, therefore x equal uh, to negative 5 uh, are satisfied and the same too. But not always the situation is easy like this. Sometimes there are some equations it's very difficult to solve it analytically. We need to go to another way which is exactly one of this is the graphical method. Like example we will solve the same problem this one. If I take a range from negative 10 to 10, okay, instantly I will increase uh, this XL, okay, 10, and then I will go down by uh, negative uh, 0.1, the Uh, and then we will write here this equation, which is equal uh, this value of x here, which is a a twelve the cell square plus a three times the value of this cell again minus ten, and then you enter when the value of x here is negative ten. The y or f of x is 60. Let's see. This one will be 100 minus 30 minus 10 is equal. What I will do, I copy and I paste here all, and then I get uh, the other points. And then I select this point here, okay, up to the end. And then I went to uh, insert and then go to star and then you select this graph. You can find this uh, curve. Okay, it's a parabola. You notice here the value here of x bigger, that's why you can see better. When x equal to zero, when uh, x equal to two, y will be zero. Or when x equal to negative five, it will be also. This is the, the answer, which is graphically. We solve it graphically. Uh, this is easy. To solve this one. What about if we have something much uh, complicated than this one? Let's take this equation. Let's get this equation. And uh, we will try to, to solve it. Uh, this is difficult to solve it analytically. Uh, one way we will just draw, we will see. I will draw from 1 uh, to 1.3. Okay. Like 1, 1, 1. This equation I will write it here. Maybe it will be uh, x power 7 plus 9 times x power 5 minus 13 times x minus 17. Okay, and then you can see what uh, x is the 1 will be 1 plus 9, 10, uh, 10. Uh, minus 13, 
negative three minus seventy to be twenty. I can copy paste one here and then I can do one. I will draw this data and you can see when I draw this data the answer here somewhere here. Okay, between 1.2 and 1.3. The answer is this two. Okay, or around 1.5. Okay, that's why I started here uh, to make it a few bigger. Okay, what about it? 1.24, 1.241, and so on. Okay, and then I draw this one. You can see the answer here. Um, Okay, it's about 1.258, something like that. Okay, and then you can, of course, depend how much you want uh, accuracy. You can see here is the answer here also. Okay. Zero is somewhere between these two numbers. Between these two numbers is the uh, zero, meaning it's around 1.258 and 155. Nine, maybe one point two five, uh, one point two five eight five possible. And the answer here. Okay, this is the answer uh, somewhere uh, between these two. Other method and use also is a trial and here. We will just guess value of x until we will find the. Uh, uh, I put here one and then I put here again the equation, which is uh, x power 7 plus 9 times x power 9 uh, power 5 minus 13 times x minus 13. And then when I get this one, uh, I found the answer 20. Now I want to say something. Uh, how to guess? Okay, this is my zero here. Okay, my zero is here. If the answer is in the positive side, okay, you go back to this. If your answer in the negative, this is the positive side. Okay, if it is in the negative side, you increase it. In this case, uh, uh, the answer is negative. Let's see. Uh, if I will make it example uh, 1.5, I will decrease. Okay. Uh, and then you can see he jumped very far, somewhere there. Very far. He jumped. Okay. Maybe I will go back. Maybe I will go back 1.3. Uh, going to the zero, maybe 1.2. You can see now we went to the negative, maybe 1.25. And also from the graph, you can guess uh, it is more than this one, it should be maybe 1.25, 5, the negative, maybe 1.25, it is negative. Maybe I will go to 1.25 it uh, say nine first. You see I jump to the positive. I need to go back again. 1.25 Still I am in the positive. I will go back to you. Maybe uh, 1.25 it or uh or still positive, maybe it's 1.25, it's 7, okay, positive, so 1.5, Four. Okay, going to zero, maybe three possible. 
8 and error the 8 2 to 5 and so on until you will find your your uh, how much you will see uh, this method is a try zero you just need the always uh, until you will find the correct Today, I want to introduce to you bisection. Okay. This is bisection method. Uh, bisection method is a very easy method to find the, uh, the roots of the equation and has advantage in this. The advantage of this uh, method you don't need to know what is the derivatives of this function. Maybe difficult to find the derivatives. Okay. Uh, only you need to have two points as a start point. This one, the, our start point. Okay, that is not for our start. Okay. Okay, from zero and two, or between one, two, if you want. Okay, just. Uh, as a start point, okay? This both of them are the start point. And uh, from that start point, uh, you can make some uh, steps, you can find the exact uh, answer. Okay. The disadvantage of this method uh, take time, okay. for some time to take uh, possible the 20 steps of time. There is another method. We will talk about it part two and three and much faster than that. Now, let's see how it works. Let's start. We have uh, uh, two points. This is point one, and this is point two. Okay, let's say I start from one to two. The middle of this one is here which is uh, 1.5. Okay, how to find this one? It's very simple. Just you add 1 plus 2, which is 3, divided by 2, is 1.5. This one, you have one point. Now, this 1.5, I will test it. I will substitute this point in this equation. You can see the same. It is the x here, which is uh, the uh, 12 power 7 plus 9 times d12 power 5 minus 30 times d12 plus 17. And then I found it that was the edge. Now, I want to uh, narrow my uh, search uh, for uh, this uh, uh, put. I can search here or here, okay? Because in the beginning, I search within this area of this uh, range, I want to search here or here. One of them I should throw, it is, there is no rules, okay? Um, I will look here uh, to the sign, not to the value. Of course, if the value is zero, meaning I found it, okay? Uh, if I can't find it, I look to the sign of this number. The sign here is positive. If it is positive, I will replace this two by this number, meaning I will search in this area, this uh, or this range, okay, here, okay, this one is out. Now, the next thing I will do, I will search between 1 and 1.5. You can see I will search between 1 and 1.5. I will repeat the same procedure, 1 plus 1.5 divided by 2 will give me 1.25. I will substitute it in, in the equation, uh, and then after that, I get 1 point, I get 1.0. It's still not 0, uh, at that point, I get the answer. The answer is not 1.25, but nearer, because it's near to 0. Now, I will look here, it is negative. Okay, if it is negative, what I will do, uh, I will change this number, okay? This number, it will be between one point 
to 25 and I will keep 1.5. Now it is uh, narrow, this, okay? And then uh, I will repeat and I will repeat until uh, I will find my solution. You can see uh, I satisfied with this answer here uh, because it will give me almost zero, okay? Uh, this much better, okay? And uh, maybe this is better. And uh, depends how many of you go nearer and nearer, you can find much better. If you want very, very, very good one, uh, possible this is the answer. Okay, very, very good one. Okay, uh, it depends on how many decimal uh, you want your answer. Now, how to write uh, a program using Excel for this method? It is actually it's very easy. Uh, what we will do is first, these two numbers, it's input number, the key bit. Okay, I'll just put one. Yes, I put one and give. This one I program it. I just add, I put parentheses, okay? Without a parenthesis would be wrong because he would divide, uh, C, he would add B12 plus half of this one. Be sure you would put parentheses, okay? But, so you can get that much. Okay, it will be this plus this divided by two. After he will find that the total, he will divide it by two. This one is copy of this uh, function. Okay, depends on what formula you want. Okay, uh, but here I'm solving uh, this equation. Now I want to decide which one I will change and which one I will keep it. Now, if the value here, if the value here positive, okay, you change this one. If it is negative, change it. All right. So here uh, can be changed only if the value negative. Now I use this one. If, open parenthesis, if this value less than zero, meaning negative. If it is correct, true, replace you or put here this value. Okay? If else, false, you bring this value down, meaning you keep it. Okay? And this one here is opposite. If the value is positive, okay, at that time you bring this one, else you keep. This one is no problem. It is similar to the previous one. I can just copy and paste it down. Okay. Just copy this. Okay. Copy this one. This one also copy and paste. Now I have copied it. What I did, I just copy and paste it. Okay. That's why I get here. I went down up to. Let's see here. I look where is my answer. My answer. Uh, this method, as I mentioned, is 